Father, today we call upon your holy name. We thank you, Almighty God, for this time and hour that we have made. For us, Father God, the Bible says in Psalms 105, 7, verse 1 to 2, 20 to 22, the Bible says, Cry, shout praises to the Lord, for he is good to us, and his love never fails. Everyone the Lord has rescued from trouble should praise him. Father, today we are here to praise you. Father, today we are here, Father God, to say thank you that you have rescued us in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, by the power of your word. You heal us, so Lord, and you saved us from destruction. The Bible says in verse 20, you send your word, O oh Lord, you send your word. You send your word and your word delivered us. And your way to heal us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. We shall give you thanks, O oh Lord, today as we come. The Bible says you should give praise. You should praise Him. You should praise the Lord for His love, for His wonderful things He does for us in the name of Jesus. Yes, we should celebrate by offering sacrifices and sing joyful songs to tell what the Lord has done. Today, Father, we thank you. We honor, we glorify your holy name. We are here, Father God, to celebrate your achievements in our lives. We are here, Father God, to say, Abba, Father, thank you for you have delivered us, for you have rescued us in the name of Jesus. My Father, today, if you were, it was not of you, we were going to be consumed in the name of Jesus. But thank you, Father God, for ensuring that, my Father, today we are worthy to praise you, Lord. Yes, Father God, today we exalt you, we call you Abba, Father. You are God Almighty. Yes, O oh Lord, you are El Shaddai. You are Jehovah Jireh. Father God, you are the one that is providing us. Yes, you are the one who says yes. When you say yes, no one can say no. When you say no, no one can oppose your will. Father, you have a final say over every situation. You are the one who created heavens and earth. My Father, any situation, my Father cannot dominate us, cannot speak to us. We are speaking to circumstances. We are speaking to problems in the name of Jesus. My Father, today, like you, as you spoke to the earth and you said, let there be light. My Father, you commanded light in the midst of darkness and darkness just disappeared within a wink of an eye. Today, Father God, we say, let there be light in each and every challenge that we are facing in the name of Jesus. Father God, by your special grace, by your special grace, Father God, in our lives, Yes, Father God, we are a new and we are living a new and resurrected life in the name of Jesus. Father, today we are living a new and resurrected health, resurrected wealth in the name of Jesus. Father God, we are living under open heavens. Yes, my Father, we declare, we declare this divine encounters, divine supernatural and extraordinary, you know, things in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Father, we are living in the light of our testimonies. We are bringing testimonies, O oh Lord, unto you. Father, today we call upon you. We say, Father Abba, there is none like you. Baba Namanjo, we thank you for this time and hour. Baba, we thank you for your word. The word of God is the standard for my life. The word of God is the standard for my life. There is no other thing that I can depend, that I can trust, except the word of God. And you, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, and you, my Father, the Holy Ghost, we shall trust you always, as well as our prophets. We shall give them trust because, Father God, if we believe in them, they shall establish us. They shall prosper us in the name of Jesus. Father, the weight, your weight, my Father, your weight is the standard for our lives. And Father God, we are living in power. We are living in dominion. We are living in authority. In the name of Jesus, we are living in power, we are living in dominion, we are living in authority. As we have this power, Father God, Jesus Christ who died on the cross, and the power came unto us. When you died, that power, that resurrected Christ from the dead came upon us. We thank you, Lord, according to Romans, Revelation chapter 5, verse 12, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Yes, we are living under dominion. Father God, we are living in dominion. 
you said we need to dominate on air on earth even in the marine sea thank you lord that we are living in dominion we are dominating each and every space in the name of jesus yes father we are living in authority you gave us authority we are carrying the keys of david we are carrying the keys of apostle peter yes the keys of kingdom of heaven in the name of jesus what we bind on earth it shall be bind in heaven what we loosen on earth it shall be loosened in the name of jesus today father we call upon your name as you gave us power to triple over the scorpions and the serpents this authority father god that we are using there is no power from the kingdom of darkness that shall come and prevail over our lives today father god we say father god we are living in the heavenly places we are in the heavenly places we are in the heavenly places the bible says psalms 110 sit on my right hand side until i make your enemies a footstool yes my father we are seated on your right hand side the right the the, 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 the position of honor yes my father the position of glory the position of wealth the position of resources in the name of jesus today father it is our honor to glorify you it is our honor to bless your name oh lord as david said bless the lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name today father we are calling upon your name we said father god how can we forget what you did on the cross you redeemed us you restored us you, you renewed our lives you anointed us father god yes our cup is overflowing Yes, my father, you are preparing a table before our enemies. My father, even if we walk in the veil of the shadow of death, we shall fear no evil, for you are with us, as you said. Fear not, for I am with you. I will hold you with my right hand side. Yes, my father, today we are living in heavenly places. And the Bible says, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 6. Yes, when he died, we died with him. Yes, when he was buried, we were buried with him. When he resurrected, we resurrected with him. And when he ascended to heaven, we ascended with him. We are seated in heavenly places with him in the name of Jesus. Father, today we are experiencing maximum, maximum, maximum victory and total freedom from every area of our lives. Today, Father, as we pray, as we begin this service, Father God, with these hot prayers, Father God, we are making a declaration and a confession to say, Father, we are more than conquerors because you said, my Father, in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 37, yeah, hey, you are more than conquerors. You are more than conquerors. You are more than conquerors. Thank you, Lord, that we conquer in the name of Jesus any circumstance, any situation, any witchcraft is being trapped in the name of Jesus. Father, today we declare and we declare your holiness in the name of Jesus. We are more than conquerors. Father God, we have conquered the battle that we have eaten yet fought because of you, Lord. We send, you send your weight and we are sending our praises. We are sending our worship. We are sending our prayers, Father God, because they carry, Father God, this victory in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Yes, we are the overcomers. We are the overcomers. First John chapter 4, verse 4 says, Yes, we do not need to believe each and every spirit, but we need to test each and every spirit to check if it is of God or it is of the kingdom of darkness. Yes, he says, do not worry for you have overcome. Yes, Father, you are an overcomer. You overcome this world. You overcame this world according to John chapter 16. Yes, John chapter 16, verse 33. That when we are in you, we are in peace and we shall conquer as you overcame. You are an overcomer. We are the overcomers in the name of Jesus. Father, we are the warriors, not the warriors. Father, we shall not worry. We shall not be anxious of anything. But my Father, today we trust and we believe in you. Father God, we are the warriors. 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 Father, we are successful in every area of our lives. Even if the devil can set that we need to be a failure. But my Father, you have wired, you have programmed success in our lives. In the name of Jesus, my Father, today 
We are more than victorious. We are victory. We say victory in Jesus. We say victory in Jesus. We say victory in Jesus. Irrespective of whatever that we are going through. We say victory in Jesus. We say victory in Jesus. We are not the victim of the circumstances. We are not the victim of the failure of our parents. We are not the victim of any sin, of any transgression, of any iniquity that was performed by our great great parent, any ancestral spirit that is promulgating our failure. Father, we cancel that. We decree, Father God, that we are successful. We are the winners. We are the head, but not in the tail in the name of Jesus. Father, today we thank you. We honor, we glorify your holy name. We bless you, Holy Spirit. Yes, my Father, we are above every situation. We are not beneath the situation. My Father, any situation, it is our footstool. The sickness, the diseases, witchcraft, everything the enemy is doing in their camp, whatever that has been prepared for our lives to destroy us, my Father, we declare and we declare that we are not beneath, but we are above, and we carry the anointing of a head, not a tail, in the name of Jesus. My Father, winning is our lifestyle. Winning is our lifestyle. Defeat was never our portion in the name of Jesus. My Father, we are anointed for achievement. Yes, my Father, we are achieving. Yes, because achievement is in our DNA. Is our DNA in the name of Jesus. We are the giants. We are the giants. We are the giants. We are the giants. We are not the grasshoppers because the giants. Yes, 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 yes. We are the giants. We are eating the grapes. Grasshoppers don't eat grapes. Yes, don't eat grapes in the name of Jesus. My Father, today we declare and we declare that my Father, we have come to take part. Yes, we have come. Yes, to take over. Yes, we have not come to take part in any situation, but we have come to take over in the name of Jesus. We are blessed, not cursed. Yes, we are the lenders, not the borrowers. My Father, we are strong and not weak. My Father, my Father, we are rich but not poor in the name of Jesus. My Father, we are the givers, but we are not stingy. My Father, we are healed in the name of Jesus, and we are not sick. Heal us, O Lord, from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet in the name of Jesus. My Father, we are delivered. We are delivered and we are not bound. We are delivered from every bondage. We are delivered from every sickness. We are delivered from every calamity. We are delivered from any accusation. We are delivered from any sickness. We are delivered from every gossip. We are delivered from every trap. We are rescue us, my Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you that we are saved. Now we are no longer lost. We are in you, Jesus. We say, Jesus Christ, you are our Father. We confess with our mouth that Jesus is our Lord. That Jesus is our Lord. When we confess with our mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord, something good is going to happen. A miracle is going to happen. We are going to be saved in the name of Jesus. Father, we believe in you. My Father, God the Father, we believe in you because you shall establish us. You shall restore us. You shall give us everything that we have lost in the name of Jesus. Father, today as we pray, we call upon your name. We say, Abba, Father, thank you so much that we have saved our lives. We are alive, but not dead. We thank you, Lord, that when you resurrected, you were resurrected with you. When you ascended heaven, we ascended heaven with you. My Father, we can, now we can see. We are no longer spiritually blind, but we can see. My Father, thank you for opening our eyes so that we can see your mightiness, so that we can see your greatness, so that we can see your angels that are fighting for us. My Father, today we declare and we declare our holiness in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, but upon Mount Zion, they shall be deliverance, they shall be holiness, the children of Jacob shall possess their possession. Today, my Father, we are coming to you. We are saying, Father God, we are your sons and we are here. Yes, and not illegitimate, nor servants in the name of Jesus. My Father, you said in the name of Jesus, according to Psalms chapter 2, verse 7 to 8, I, am, I have begotten you. You are my son. I have begotten you. Ask of me anything. 
I will give you the inheritance. Ask of me. I will give you all the possession. Today, my father, we are operating under open heavens. You are making a promise to us and we receive it with both hands in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are not the sinners, O oh Lord, we are the saints. We are not the doubters of your word, Father God, we are the believers. Yes, we are the light and the salt of this world. Deliverance will come through us. My Father, make us your, your heavenly splendor in the name of Jesus. My Father, we are in the ministry and in the industry because ministry is about souls. Yes, and industry is about sales in the name of Jesus. My Father, we are the watchmen, we are the gatekeepers and alert not in slumber. My Father, reproach, shame, misery are the things of the past and affliction shall not rise for the second time in the name of Jesus. Today, Father, we declare and we declare your holiness in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We honor, we glorify your holy name. We say, Father God, there is none like you. Thank you, Lord, that I am a seed of Abraham. We are the seed of Abraham. Yes, our father in faith. We are greater and we are a chosen generation. My father, we are a generation of champions. Yes, we are the generation of champions and surely we shall win in the name of Jesus. The generation of champions are the conquerors. The generation of champions are the Joshua generation in the name of Jesus. My father in the name of Jesus, we are the child of a prophet and a generation of power in the name of Jesus. Father God, we are speaking holiness. We are speaking righteousness of you. My father, we are the royal priesthood. We are peculiar people in the name of Jesus. My father, we are fruitful. We are multiplying. We are replenishing. We are reigning. We are subduing. My father, according to your instruction, according to Galatians chapter 1 verse 28, in the name of Jesus. My Father, let fruitfulness be my portion. Let multiplication be my portion. Let the punishment be our portion in the name of Jesus. We are reigning. We are subduing every situation in the name of Jesus. My Father, we declare, we declare that it is done. My Father, we are shining. We are your shining star. We are your shining star. We are your shining star. Yes, our stars are outshining every star of the kingdom of darkness. We are the stars. And our stars are outshining other stars. We are peculiar. Our work is recognized. Our work is being seen in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that we have a joy that is unspeakable and our strength is the joy of the Lord. We have peace beyond limits. Today, Father, we are here to decree and to declare that, Father God, we are making in this life. We are making it in this life. We are so successful in the name of Jesus. We are making things to happen and our testimonies are continually increasing day in, day out in the name of Jesus. God, fast track our matters as it is called supernatural speed. We say, Father God, that supernatural speed that accelerated the stone of David to Goliath, yes, my Father, that natural, supernatural speed that accelerated the speed or the running of Elijah as he was running before the chariot of Ahab, as he was running away from Jezebel after that 24-hour decree, Yes, my Father, today we declare and we declare that, my Father, we shall win things in the name of Jesus. My Father, divine acceleration, fast track our metals, fast track it, supernatural speed, divine acceleration must be our portion in the name of Jesus. Yes, Father God, our gates and our doors of our testimonies 
the gates and the doors of our destinies uh, shall be perpetually and continually open forever. Yes, and our divine destiny help us, divine destiny connect us, are competing to offer us help. Father Isaiah chapter 60 verse 11 Here is our gates, our doors of our destinies are perpetually and continually open forever. Here is my Father. We see our divine helpers. We see our divine connectors are competing now. They are starting to fight to help us. My Father, send them from north. Send them from south. Send them from west. From Send them from the east. Yes, my Father, let them come. Let them locate us in the name of Jesus. My Father, in the name of Jesus, let them come. Let them come. Let the Queen of Shabbos come. Let the three wise men come so that they carry spices and gold. They carry our needs, my Father. Let my enemies come, my Father, because as they attack me, they make me popular. They make us popular in the name of Jesus. When others are saying there is a casting down, we are saying there is a lifting up. My Father, we are lifting up the standard. Yes, when the devil is starting to attack us, my Father, you are, lift, you are lifting up the standard. You are lifting up the standards. My Father, our enemies are descending are descending as we are ascending yes in the name of jesus let them descend as we ascend let them descend as we ascend let them descend as we ascend there were angels that were descending they were angels that were descending let our enemies descend let our friends ascend as we are ascending with them yes my father in the name of jesus my father we are lifted high by you beyond folly failing. And the spirit of the Lord is upon us. Yes, the spirit of wisdom. Yes, the spirit of knowledge. The spirit of power. The spirit of understanding. The spirit of counsel. The spirit of revelation. The spirit of fear of the Lord is our portion. In the name of Jesus. It is lifting up the standard against our enemies. Our enemies shall not prevail. Our enemies shall not prevail. My father, we are getting to the top in life. We are becoming topic. We are becoming a topic. We are becoming a topic. We are becoming a topic because we are getting to us to up to, to a top, a mountain top line in the name of Jesus. The bottom is crowded, but there is a room for me on top. The bottom is crowded. There is a room for us up there. The upper room. The upper room. The upper room. Elijah the teacher was sleeping in the upper room. Yes, prophet Elisha, the man with double portion of anointing, was sleeping in an upper room. My father, we are getting on top in our lives and we are becoming a topic. Yes, my father, the bottom is crowded. There is no room for us, but the room are on top. My father, we are excelling in all dimensions. Father, we thank you today that we are doing an unstoppable job. No one can stop us as we promulgate your work, as we pray, Father God, unto you. Father God, today we decree and we declare Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. Yes, you said, I, I say, I am an eagle. I am not a chicken. Those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount like as eagles. Yes, they shall not faint. They shall run. They shall not faint in the name of Jesus. Are you done now, guys? Are you done with what you are doing? Are you, yes, stop that which you are doing, please. Bring my phones here. Bring them here. We are getting into the top of life. We are becoming a topic. Yes, Father God, we are excelling in all dimensions. Yes, Father God, we are the eagles, not the chickens, because the chickens 
are for the chick, are for the kitchen, not for the mountains. We are having wings. We are flying above every situation in the name of Jesus. Father, today we thank you. Yes. Thank you, Father. We bless you. Thank you, Lord, that we are called wonderful. We are the end time prophetic agenda. We are for your miracles, signs, and wonders. Heaven is smiling on us and God is rejoicing over us with singing, with praises. Yes, God is opening our files to settle our matters. God is opening our files to settle our matters. When the book of life will open, our name shall be there. Raise up your hands. Say, Father, all curses against me are turned into blessings. In the name of Jesus, my Father, my Father, all the breakdowns are turned into breakthroughs. All the problems are turned into programs. All the disappointments are turned into appointments. All the demotion are turned into promotion. My Father, my Father, my father, my father, all embarrassment are turned into embracement in the name of Jesus. My story is changing to glory. My story is changing to glory. Every insult is turned into results. I am not a victim, but I am a victim. My father, my father, all the merits are changing to mercy. All the mockery are changed into victory in the name of Jesus. My father, my father, every failure in every area of my life, emotionally, spiritually, physically, mentally, these failures must be turned into success. Every pain is changed into a gain. Every trial that I went through, I decree now a triumph. I am a winner, but not a loser. I am a winner, and I'm not defeated. My father, all my scars must be turned into stars in the name of Jesus. Every bitterness must be changed to better in the name of Jesus. Any setback must be changed into comebacks in the name of Jesus. Any trouble to peace our life travels to peace like a river. Yes, my father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus, every trouble, every trouble must be converted to peace. Yes, my father, like a river. My father, all impossibilities must be converted to possibilities. We are from zero to hero, from ordinary to extraordinary, from naturally to supernaturally. Yes, from sorrow to joy. Yes, so tolerable. From death to life, from poverty to prosperity. Yes, my Father, today we decree that we are moving from negativity to positivity. Yes, my Father, we are not like a lemon, but today we have changed to be a lemonade. We are drinkable. Yes, my Father, they shall enjoy us. My Father, in the name of Jesus, we are no longer weeping, but we are dancing. No more mistakes, but miracles. We, Father God, we are no longer mourning, but we are mourning in the name of Jesus. No more warfare but your welfare. My Father, no more crisis, but a Christ in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. No more thorns, but thrones. No more cross, but crowns. We are looking for crowns in the name of Jesus. No more desert, but we need some deserts. This is our time. Every stone that was thrown unto us, we convert it into a stepping stone. We convert it into a stepping stone. We are moving from victory to victory. We are moving from glory to glory. Yes, my father. Imakatolo roboshanda. Hala katala raboso. Yekike zongo dolo roboyanda. Hakatala rabosanda. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you that, Father God, our life, the good in our lives is becoming better the better is becoming best the best is becoming excellent thank you Lord 
Father, we thank you that we are highly favored by you. We are highly anointed. Father, we are distinguished. We are peculiar. We are, ident we are identifiable among our equals. And we have been singled out in the midst of our contemporaries. Father, let your Holy Spirit come down. Yes, my Father. Yes, my Father. Father, we are unlimited. Even the sky is not the limit to us. All our heart desires are granted to us. Father, we are pursuing. We are overtaking. We are spoiling. And we are recovering all. And we are not setting for less worth the name of Jesus. There is no witchcraft, there is no bewitchment against Israel, against Jacob. Take note of that. There is no bewitchment. This is according to Numbers chapter 23, verse 23. There is no witchcraft, there is no spell against us. When the road is thirsty and hungry for the flesh and blood, my Father, we are not using that road. Father, we are safe and protected. Evil will not know our dwelling place. The eaters of flesh shall eat their own flesh. The drinkers of blood must eat their own blood. Listen here. There is no witchcraft. There is no spell against you. Where the road is thirsty for the blood, for your blood and for your flesh, don't use that road. You are safe and protected. Evil will not know. The evil things, witchcraft, will not locate where you are dwelling. Even they can Google you on Google map, where are you? They can't navigate you. They can't locate you. Yes, they can't because you are covered. They will not gather for your funeral. They will never gather for your funeral anytime soon because our earthly assignment is still standing on. It is not over. Not our hood. Not our flesh, not our blood in the name of Jesus. Father, we refuse. We refuse. Any setup. Any traps of failure, we shall not fail. Thank you, Lord. We are the Passover. We are the danger zone. We are the no-go zone area. We are dangerously dangerous and untouchable. We are the Passover, Father God. The evil of death is passing over. The angel of death is passing over our families. It shall not come on. We are the dangerous zone. We are the no-go zone area. No satanic operation shall prevail. We suspend it until further notice. We, wrote, we put a roadblock in our areas where we are sleeping. Thank you, Father, for your heavenly protection. Thank you, Lord, that you are sheltering us. We are speaking Psalms 91. Yes, Lord, thank you, Lord. Yes. Every evil eye that is monitoring our lives, they shall die. They shall die. They shall die. They shall die. They shall die in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. We bless your holy name as we pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We honor, we glorify your holy name. In the name of Jesus, we are raising up our hands. As we raise our hands unto you, Father, we say, Father, forgive us. Yes, forgive us our debts, forgive us our sins. As we also have forgiven our debtors, 
we have forgiven our enemies. Thy Father, in the name of Jesus, that is according to Matthew chapter 6, verse 12. In the name of Jesus, Father, we are asking for forgiveness of our sins. We are asking for forgiveness of our transgressions, iniquities, sins of our ancestors, of our parents, of our acquaintances, is and ourselves, which gave an enemy and his cohort an opportunity to come and play over our heads in the name of Jesus. Father, today we call upon your name. 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 Yes, my Father. We declare that, Father God, we are not bound by the covenant of ancestors and that we are redeemed by the blood of Jesus. We are redeemed according to Colossians chapter 2, verse 14 to 15, Galatians chapter 3, verse 13 to 14. Yes, we are not bound. We are not bound. We are delivered in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Father, we are redeemed according to Psalms 103. Verse 1 to 2. Yes, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. How can we forget your benefits, Father God? You did the redemption with your blood when you died, Father God. You make us, Father God, to win everything. Today, Father, as we are praying, we decree, Father God, our redemption. We decree, Father God, our restoration. We decree, Father God, our restoration of everything that we have lost. My Father, we are possessing all the possession. We are possessing all the possession. We are possessing all the possession. The enemy has stolen. The kingdom of God suffered violence and the violence was taken by force. But you said in your word, Obadiah 117, but upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. They shall be holy that the children of Jacob shall possess their possession. Father God, this is our time to possess our possession. This is our time, Father God, of our settlement and establishment. This is our time, Father God, that you are comforting us. This is the time, Father God, that we are putting everything to rest. We are resting upon you. We are resting on top, on top of the mountain. My Father, wherever situations are coming, we are calling the fire, like prophet Elijah, who was on top of the mountain. They said, men of God, come down. He said, if I'm a man of God, let fire come down. Yes, my father, in the name of Jesus. Even if the enemies can surround us, my father, we know that you are the Lord of hosts. Those that are surrounding us are surrounded by your, your angels, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Revelation 17, verse 1 to 2. Yes, my father, we are taking authority in the name of Jesus. We cancel all satanic covenants, any satanic agreements, vows, promises for wealth, health, fame, protection, power, influence, whatever, etc., etc. But my father, we are saying, my father, we are destroying every satanic covenant we entered into. We are commanding the earth. O earth, O earth, according to Jeremiah 22, verse 29. Hear the word of the Lord. 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 The of the Lord. You must hear the word of the Lord. We are here to command you that you vomit our marriages that are buried. You vomit our businesses. You vomit our finances. You vomit our promotions. You vomit our breakthroughs. You vomit our success. You vomit anything that you swallowed in the name of Jesus. We are here, Father God, we are carrying that authority. You gave us authority in the name of Jesus. I am a commander. I am a commander. Yes, I call shots. Where I am, I call shots. Yes, my Father, every knee is bowing. Even is bowing. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my father, we decree according to Revelation chapter 18, verse 12 to 13. We declare that every merchandising and exchange of our souls in the areas of marriage must come to the end. In the areas of work must come to an end. In the areas of tenders must come to an end. Yes, that merchandising and exchange must come to an end. Yes, businesses are ours. Yes, in the name of Jesus. We shall not suffer a wish to live. 
We cannot suffer, suffer, suffer. Exodus chapter 20, verse 18. Suffer not a week for a week to live. Why must I suffer? Yes, Father, we are carrying influence. We are carrying influence. Care concerning our marriages, concerning our businesses, concerning our ministers. In the name of Jesus, we shall not suffer. Yes, my Father, we negate all witchcraft activities. We negate every witchcraft influences, oppression regarding our marriages, our finances, our endeavor. Wherever we find ourselves, my Father, we say it is done in the name of Jesus. My Father, we invoke the blood of your redemption. We invoke, Father God, the blood of Jesus against the demand or the request of ancestral covenant violation and their consequences today father we thank you we honor we glorify your holy name in the name of jesus we have prayed so shall it be upon our lives in the name of jesus thank you so much you are all welcome those that are watching us in the name of jesus and those that are with us in the name of jesus this is apostles pure wisdom Kabinde, all the way from south africa and victoria yes special thanks to dr bishop Alex Mwani from Holy Ghost Firehouse in Nelspreit. Apostle Sidi Khatebe from Breakthrough Ministries in Germiston, Leon Day. Yes, Pastor Chiani from Breakthrough Ministries, uh, not Breakthrough, from True Vine Ministries. Yes, special thanks to Apostle Martin Mugambi all the way from Nairobi in Kenya. Also, special greetings to Dr. V.M. Mabunga. Apostle V.M. Mabunga, all the way from Zambia in Adexville. Thank you so much. And uh, how can I forget Apostle George Sakubila, all the way from Copper Belt in Dollar, in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much. How can I forget Swatili? Yes, Apostle V.I. Vilane, Stumo Vilane, in the name of Jesus. Yes, from Holy of Holy's interdimensional church in the name of Jesus. Yes, our Archbishop in Africa throughout the whole world, Archbishop Duncan Williams from Ghana Action Chapel Ministries. Thank you so much. Yes, in the name of Jesus. And also the teacher of the weight, our Bishop Doug, Doug Howard Mills. Thank you so much. Yes, our pastor, Pastor David Ngozi all the way from Wheatbank. Thank you so much. Our pastor, the apostle from Agape Family Church in Gatlow Home, Pastor Ntanyelo, in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much. These are my teachers of the way. These are my mentors in the name of Jesus. They are my fathers. They are my mentors. They are praying for me in the name of Jesus for the breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Today we are saying we need to speak to storms. We need to, to speak to bad situations. What will make your day? What is it that will make your day in the name of Jesus? What is it that can make your day in the name of Jesus? What is it that can make your day? Speak to storms. Speak to bad situations. What are you saying to your day? Today, I just want to teach you that it is biblical for us to speak to situations. If God was able to speak to situations, nothing can stop you. You yourself your tongue, according to Proverbs 18.23, you carry life and you carry death. Are you using your tongue correctly so, so that you can be able to command your morning in the name of Jesus? 
years. You know, when you read the book of Genesis, chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, this is a chapter of speaking. It is a chapter where the enemy is speaking, where God is also speaking. They are speaking words. Our words must carry life, not death. Words are important. They can break you. They can destroy. They can build you at the same time. Words can bless you. They can also curse you. Words can cause success in your life. Words can also cause failure in your life. Words can cause victory in your life. Words can also cause defeat in your life. So your mind must be delivered. Your mind must be delivered. That is why Jesus Christ died on the cross as he was carrying a, a crown of thorns. He was delivering our mind. He was delivering our soul. When I talk of a soul, I am talking of our emotions. I am talking of our minds. I am also talking of the will. The will where you are making decisions. We are speaking about wisdom. Whatever decision that you must make, it must be a decision that must bless you, that must build you, that must cause success in your life, that must cause victory, that must make you to conquer every situation in our lives in the name of Jesus. We are where we are. It is not because of smooth sailing, but it is because of our confession. It is because of our declaration. Don't forget that when you say, Jesus Christ, you are my Lord and you are my Savior. Automatically, you are being anointed. Automatically, you are declared victorious. Automatically, you are given authority to trample over the scorpions, over the serpents, over, you know, any situation that you are facing in the name of Jesus. Even if you can be facing some challenges, words can make a difference i said lord i shall not be defeated i said lord i shall not be defeated i am moving forward irrespective of people what are they saying about me oh Allah, you are the one who created me oh speedily you gave me an assignment yes they, they don't know where i come from they don't know where i'm going they just meet me Joshua chapter Joel, not Joel, it's, 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 it's Job chapter 22, verse 28. The Bible says, Can you pour water for me, please? The Bible says, You shall decree a thing, you shall declare a thing, you shall speak a thing. And it shall be established. Once it is established, there will be a light on your path. Wherever you go, there will be a light. You will not be dark. It will not be slippery. In the name of Jesus. Therefore, as a prophet... As a prophet, you carry an anointing, you carry a prophetic weight, you carry, you know, a, a, a prophetic intelligence so that you can be able to maneuver your space in the name of Jesus. We are all facing problems. What are you saying? Yes, because we've been given that power. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11. I love these verses. They say, whatever that you speak out of your mouth, anything that you speak, it cannot come back empty. When you speak, it must establish what you are speaking. What I am speaking, it must be established. My vision, my passion, my interest must be established in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jeremiah spoke a word and it came to pass. David spoke a word 
and it came to pass. Abraham spoke the word and it came to pass. Isaiah spoke the word, it came to pass in the name of Jesus. When you speak any roadblock, any barricade, anything that is blocking your words must be removed. You are a commander of your life. You must be able to speak things and those things must come to pass in the name of Jesus. Must come to pass in the name of Jesus. And listen. When the Bible opens, Genesis chapter 1, there was a problem. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 says, In the beginning God created heavens and earth. Full stop. Everything was done and dusted. Everything was fine. But verse 2 says, Now the earth was empty, dark and void. How? Before it was fine, now. Things have just changed. What was the reason? It was because of the spirit of rebellion that happened in the heavenlies. When you read the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 7, the Bible says there was a war in heaven and Satan was defeated. The book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 17, or verse 18, Jesus is saying, Behold, I have seen Satan being defeated. He is thrown into this earth and is very furious. But behold, I have given you power to trample over Satan and his cohorts. Any power the enemy is carrying against you, it shall not work out in the name of Jesus. We are given the dominion, Genesis 1, 26. To say we shall rule on air, on earth, even in the marine world. In the name of Jesus. Verse 3. We hear God, the first thing, the first word God spoke. He was speaking a solution to a problem. He was speaking what? A solution to a problem. When we are facing calamities, when we are facing opposition, when we are facing mockery, when we are facing gossips, we need to speak a solution. When we are facing, you know, oppression, suppression, depression, when we are facing sickness, not diseases, when we are facing things that are not in line with our lives, we need to speak a solution. The first time when we hear about God, when he spoke, he said, let there be light. Let there be Jesus Christ. In the beginning, God, the Father created heavens. In the second verse, the earth was empty of God, but God, the Holy Spirit, was incubating. As I am walking, my life is empty, is dark, is in shambles, but the Holy Spirit is incubating. But it will take me to say, let there be light in my life. That darkness shall take its load and go. That emptiness shall vanish. Those shambles shall just disappear. The Bible says, and God said, He said it repeatedly. And God said, and God said is repeated. Is repeated. Is repeated. Ten times. Ten times it is repeated. The Bible says Genesis 1 3. Genesis chapter 1 verse 3. Genesis chapter 1 verse 3. The Lord said, Let there be light. The Lord said, Let there be light. That is number one. Then, then God said. Then God said, then God said, then God said, then God said, let there be light. Yes, chapter 1, verse 3. Then God said, let then God said, I command light to shine. 
and the shining started shining. You needed to say, let there be light in my life. And uh, you know, that light will start to shine in your life. Don't be discouraged. Don't mama, don't complain. Don't look around. Just lift up your eyes unto the Lord and said, my father, I am commanding a light to shine in this darkness, in this void, in this emptiness, and the light shall start to shine. God is waiting for your word. God is waiting for your word. You need to speak. You need to read the word and to ensure that you proclaim and you make prophetic declarations. Yes. Verse 6. Yes, yes. God looked at the light and saw it was good. After you have spoken, what you have spoken, you must sit with. Is it good or not? Good. And God said, it is good. Yes. He said it. He saw it. And he appreciated it. God said, you must say it. And God saw it, that it was good. You must see it. You must claim. You must say it. And you must see things that you are speaking. We've been speaking things that we do not see. Even today we have never seen the results. But this is the formula. God spoke that there must be a light. And the light started to shine. And the shine started to shining. I am speaking light to my life. I am speaking light to our families. I am speaking light to these communities. I am speaking light to South Africa. I am speaking light to Africa as the whole. I am speaking light to Africa as well as all the continents of the world. I say, let there be light. This light must start to shine and we must see it is shining in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Verse 6, what does verse 6 say? And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. Yes, God said, I command the dome to separate waters from above the waters below it. And that also happened. Verse 9, what does verse 9 say? Then God said, ah, then God said, let the waters speak. speak is a solution to your problem. Have you spoken positive things? Or you are busy complaining? No, speak. Verse 9, God said, I command waters under the sky. Pa, 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 pa. Verse 11. Then God said. Then God said. Verse 14. Then God said. Then God said. Verse 20. Then God said, when he commanded the stars, he commanded the stars. God said, verse 14, I command the lights to appear in the sky. Verse 20, God said, I command the oceans to be full of living creatures and I command the birds to fly about. Verse 24, then God said, verse 26, God said, let us, make let us make man in our own image, yes, in our own likeness. Now we will make humans and they will be like us. We will let them to rule the fish, the birds, and all the living creatures, even in the air. Verse 29, then God said, then God said you see now, your mouth can create if God did it, nothing can stop you to do what God did. Nothing can stop. God spoke a solution to a problem. Problems cannot change problems, but solution can change problems. Get me well. Problems cannot change other problems. Instead, it will multiply other problems. You've got a problem. You go and you consult it to people. People will mislead you. Go into God. Because you've got a problem. 
you need a solution. The solution. The Bible says, but upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be a solution. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be salvation. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be restoration. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be establishment. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be renewal. Upon Mount Zion, you shall see new things starting to take place. And you must remain holy. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be miracles, signs, and wonders. Upon Mount Zion, the parents shall give birth. In the name of Jesus. 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 Makata Roko Shakata Raboyanda. Sokotoro Robo Shakata Rabosanda. Shakata Rabo Sokotoro Robo Shanda. Yela Tarabo Sodor Roboyanda. Yela Tarabo Shakale Rebeyanda. Sokotoro Robo Shakata Rabaebe. Speak a solution. To a problem, you shall get a solution. Yes, God shall answer you in the name of Jesus. When Hannah was facing a problem, yes, even God, when God was facing a problem, He spoke a solution. He didn't say, "Ha, ah, now earth you are empty. Ha, ah, earth now you are you are void. What happened?" <laughs> he keep quiet, speak a solution in the name of Jesus, and the God shall grant you the desires of your heart. Hannah just went straight to Shiloh when she faced Hannah, when she faced him, when she faced Penina because she was moved by Penina. This was a problem. There are people who are becoming a problem. There are people who are becoming a thorn in your flesh. There are people who are becoming a bump in your eye. You can't concentrate. You can't see. You can't focus. There are people who are injecting pain. There are people who are busy with witchcraft whilst you are busy with God. That is the problem. But what do you need to do? Come to Shiloh. Come to the place of prayer. Come to the altar of God. Go to the church. Pray. Call upon his name. Jeremiah chapter 33 says, In times of distress, you shall call upon your name. I shall answer you. I shall show you great and mighty things. That you, have, you don't know. Speak solutions. Solutions can change problems. And the very same problems can be your promotion. And the very same problems can turn things around in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Problems cannot remove problems, but solution can, or solutions can remove problems. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we have seen God spoke a solution and the problem of darkness, empty and void, was done and dusted with. In the name of Jesus. Yes, let us look into Mark chapter 4, verse 39. The Bible says, from verse 35 to 42, they were crossing. He said, let us cross over. Jesus Christ, after he taught in the book of Mark, chapter 4, verse 1 to 34, it was busy with teachings. He was busy with teachings, teachings. After that, from verse 35, he said, let us cross over to another town. The disciples said, we are crossing over with you, dead. We shall not remain behind. We shall not stand still. We are moving forward because we are a forward in moving God. Yes, as we enter into a boat, we carry you, we enter with you into the boat. Little did they knew that, you know, the disciples, the boat that were, there were three boats in the sea. These other two boats were not attacked by the storm. But the very same storms attacked the boat where Jesus was. And the very same storms, we call them east winds. Don't forget that we are gathering a power. If God was able to call the east wind and open the Red Sea and to dry up the land, the enemy is also able to call the east wind and attack you where Jesus is. Don't forget that Jesus is inside of us. First John chapter 4 verse 4. 
Greater is he that is in you than the one who is in this world. The Bible says, as they were there, and he arose, or there were storms that attacked the boat. The east wind started to attack the boat. The Bible says, verse 39, in verse 38, they started to take out water. They started to take out water. They tried to take out water. But the storms were very strong. The storms were very strong. As the storms were very strong, they started to call. They arose Jesus in verse 38. They said, Arise! Can't you see that we are dying? Verse 39 says, And he arose and rebuked the winds. He rebuked the east winds and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind stopped with immediate effect. And there was a great calm. It is better for you to have Jesus wherever you go, so that as and when you experience this east wind attack, attacking your boat, attacking your family, attacking your business, attacking your children, are taking your ministry at least jesus christ is inside you will be able to call him and make him to arise and say father can't you see that i am i am perishing if you don't have jesus i don't know you can't trust in it today you can't trust these olive oils that they are giving you Sometimes I will give you castor oil and say, go and drink that castor oil. You won't sleep the whole night. <laughs> At least in every boat that you find yourself in, have this Jesus. Where you cannot he will be there because he can. With Jesus, nothing is impossible. With God, nothing is impossible. In times of trouble, whom do you call if you don't believe in Jesus? Because that all your tries, hello, you must call Jesus. And Jesus will rebuke the storms. I, I love the sh that, 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 that woman who was bleeding for 12, for 12 years. That woman didn't have Jesus. She depended on people. She went door to door looking for help. Was she ever helped? No. Was she ever helped? No. Was she ever helped? No. What happened with her sickness? The sickness grew worse. Why? Cursed is the man who put his trust on another man. Cursed is the man who put his trust on another man. As the Bible says, there was this woman who was bleeding for 12 years. She had gone to many doctors. This is Ruli City. Why are Zangomen? Why are you Pula? Zange and Tole Usizu. And they had done anything except to cause her a lot of pain. Instead of getting healed, the sickness grew worse. She had pain. She had paid them all the money she had. But instead getting better, she only grew worse. The sickness grew worse. The Bible says she heard about Jesus. Verse 27. When she heard about Jesus, she came behind and touches close because she made a confession she made a confession she spoke she spoke she said if i can touch the hem 
of his garment I shall be made whole she spoke a solution to a problem because she spoke a problem hoping that a problem will solve another problem but now she heard about Jesus and solution came to say if I can do this to Jesus I know I will be healed she touched the hem of Jesus and she was made whole you must hear about Jesus Jesus Christ is the healer Jesus Christ is the restorer of our lives Jesus Christ is the redeemer of our souls Jesus Christ is the giver of life because that is his mission to give us life more life and abundant life if you you, you you ignore Jesus you are ignoring your destiny you can't move forward you'll be rounding in cycles and in cycles if you need settlement if you want establishment if you want to see restoration if you want to see redemption if you want to, to, to experience that satisfaction if you want a crown Jesus is available Jesus is available because he came to perform miracle signs and wonders there are a lot of false prophets whom we put our trust on some are arrested some are doing nonsensical things some are in jail eh? others are making money laundries others are sleeping with girls and boys they are doing all these nonsensical things shift your eyes gaze unto him and start to speak this woman was a woman of faith you are a woman you are a man of faith started to speak faith i spoke faith in my life as i was going through rough patches in my life but thanks to god that he delivered me he delivered me he delivered me from what i was to where i am internationally i know hello god shall deliver you god shall restore you god shall give you every promotion he is jehovah jireh he is going to give you the desires of your heart she spoke if i can touch the hem of his garment i will be made whole i will be healed yes she touched and immediately bleeding stopped raise up your hand and make a confession and say lord i heard about you i am going through rough patches the enemy has spoken the enemy has created problems into my life and i can't solve a problem with a problem but father give me a solution today i call upon your name i touch you lord i make a confession if i can touch your hand i will be healed i will be healed I am healed in the name of Jesus. I am healed in the name of Jesus. I am healed. Even the disciples, they arose Jesus. Where was Jesus? He was in the boat. Where is your Jesus now? He is right inside of you. If you are not a believer, but you hear about Jesus, because the Bible says faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. When you hear about him, don't hesitate. Just make a prayer. Just make a confession and start to take a step of faith. You will be bring testimonies in the name of Jesus. God doesn't want you to go through life as though you, will, you are helpless. You see, David made a confession in the book of Psalms 23. This was a confession. Psalms 23 is a confession to the enemy. Psalms 23 is a confession to the enemy. He starts to say the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord he said you Lord you are my shepherd. I will never be in need i will never be in want from any other people you are my shepherd 
therefore I am your sheep. This was a confession. Lord, you make me to rest in the fields of green grass. You lead me into streams of peaceful waters. You don't mislead me, but you lead me. You, you refresh my life. Oh, my Father, thank you, Lord, that you are refreshing my life. You are true to your name, and you lead me along the paths. Yes, my Father, I may walk through the valleys as dark as death, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death. But I won't be afraid because you are Jehovah Shammah. You are forever present in my life. You are with me. Your shepherd rod makes me feel safe. Your staff, your anointing. My Bible makes me to feel safe when I am facing through troubles, when I am going in this world that is the world of valley. I shall fear no evil. I am making a confession. You prepare a table before my enemies. You treat me to feast while my enemies are watching. You honor me with your guests and you fill up my cup until it overflows. Your kindness, your love will always be with me. Each day of my life, I will never live forever. I will never leave your house. I will live in your house forever and ever. Yes, Jesus, thank you. This is the confession that you must make that will bring protection over your life. God is looking for another faith. God is looking for your faith. Oh my God. Where you are sitting, you are not worried that the chair may fall. Hello? Why do you have faith that the chair that you are sitting on may not fall? That is the type of faith God is looking for. That is the type of faith, that is a type of trust. That as you put around your buckler doors, no one will come enter. As you've got your alarm, you are putting your trust in an alarm. You are putting your trust in whatever. But God said, just put a trust in me. Just a faith in me. Just a simple faith on your chair, on your couch. You feel relaxed. The couch is quality assured. Same applies to Jesus is quality assured. You can rest in him. You can relax in him. He can do wonders in the name of Jesus. God doesn't want you to go through life as though you are helpless and handicapped. Rather, he wants you to take charge and do something with your life. Be responsible and do something with your life and about your situation. You should make things happen in your life. No one will make things happen in your life if you don't arise. Stand up for this matter concerns you. In the name of Jesus. The book of Ezra chapter 10. Verse 4. Ezra, it's time, it's up to you to do something. It's up to you to do something. It is up to you to do something. It is up to you to do something. You must make things to happen in your life. Ezra chapter 10 verse 4 It is up to you to do something. We will support you whatever you do. So be brave. Take a lead and do those things. Take a lead and do that project. Take a lead and do that business. Take a lead and apply for that job. We will be there to support you in prayers, even in finances if it comes to a push. Take a lead. It is up to you. 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 You can you are the one who must make change in your life. 
Don't trust in me. I may be a chariot in your life. I may be a horse in your life. Psalms 20 verse 7, some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord of hosts. Trust in God. You shall be established. Trust in Jesus. You shall be saved. Trust in his prophets. You shall be prospered in the name of Jesus. You might be crying, Lord, don't you see my situation? Don't you see my situation? God has already given you a solution to your problem, but you can't see a solution. You are still crying. You've got a solution. Raise up your hands. Look at your hands. Look at your hands. Look at your hands. What is it that God has given you? I see jobs. I see wisdom. I see ideas, business ideas. Hmm? God is going to bless the, the works of your hands. Not of, my, uh, uh, of another person. Uh, uh, of your hands. You might be crying. Don't you see my solution? Why are you living on this earth and start to cry? You are a solution to your own problems. You are a solution to someone's problems. Therefore, arise. This is your responsibility. It is up to you. We will support you whatever form of supporting. We will give you that time. And you start do something, Lord. Lord, do something. Don't you see our situation? Listen here, you are not a Moses generation. You are not a Moses generation. Peter, listen here. God gave you a solution before a problem. Hello? You've got a solution at hand. You've got a solution. There's no need for you to cry. Utilize that solution for your betterment of your life. I am using my solution God gave me. When he said, let there be trees, let there be waters, let there be... Let, these were the solutions to your what? To your problem. If you are hungry, you must turn the soil around. Plant a seed. Take one seed of an orange. It will give birth to a tree. And it will give birth to a hundred oranges. Each orange is carrying ten seeds. Ten times hundred. It's how much? One thousand. You've got one thousand seeds. If you plant those one thousand seeds. Oh my God. How many trees? Thousand trees. How many seeds are there? Don't be lazy. You must make up your mind. You are not a Moses generation. You are not a generation that is murmuring, that is complaining, that is folding arms, that is making God to do everything for themselves. You are a, a, a Joshua generation. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. Let the book of law not to depart out of your mouth. You must meditate with it day in, day out. There is no faculty that is not in the, in, in the Bible. There is engineering in the Bible. There is business in the, in the, in the, in the Bible. Every faculty that, that you find in the university, subjects are there. The book of numbers, ah, it speaks about number of things. Ah, there is accounting, there is business economics, there is history in the Bible, there is mathematics. Eh? When he said to, to Noah, go, I want, when you build my ark, it must be this centimeter, this 
meters and, and this that is the genetics. So Bible is the solution. Stop murmuring, stop complaining in the name of Jesus. Do something. Now you are the one to do something. You are the one to do something because he has given you power. He has given you dominion. He has given you authority. What are you doing with that dominion, authority, and power? Nothing. No, no, no. Act like Jesus. He calmed the storms with, the, with his words. He said to the raging tempest, Peace be still. And there was a great calm. Perhaps someone, perhaps for some reason, you find yourself agitated and fearful about the situation. You ask yourself, what should I do? It's simple. Put a right hand on your chest. Put a right hand on your chest. Come down in the name of Jesus. His peace is overwhelm your soul in the name of Jesus. His peace will overwhelm your soul in the name of Jesus. Yes, say my father, calm me down. In the name of Jesus, let your peace, let your peace overwhelm my soul. Overwhelm my soul. Makato bara kuto pasa kalara bayen eka talara buso kuto nuru mushamba ala talara buso nuru 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 ayamanda kuto pepe kuto nara basende in the name of Jesus. You know when things are like the disciples, they were so afraid when the wind became boys yesterday's and the water was getting into the boat. They came to Jesus because they tried. Listen here. There is a principle of rest and a principle of waking. The disciples decided to wake while Jesus was resting. But they discovered that no, 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 we need to rest. This man must be working. Power must change hands. Anything that is overwhelming you, give it to Jesus. Cast your burdens unto Jesus because he cares for you. Cast your burdens unto Jesus. Because he cares for you. Cast your burdens unto Jesus. Because he cares for you. Cast your burdens unto Jesus. Because he cares for you. Matthew 11 verse 28. If you are tired from carrying heavy burdens. Come to Jesus. He says, Come to me, I will give you rest. Come to me, I will give I will give you rest. Are you tired? Are you tired of pulling hard? Are you tired of sickness and diseases? Are you tired of witchcraft? Are you tired of being tossed up and down? Are you tired of being in one position? Yes, he said, Come to me. Come to Jesus. If you are tired, yes, my father, I'm tired. Yes, I'm tired from carrying heavy burdens. I am tired of this heavy burdens. My father, I'm coming to you. Yes, my father, give me rest. Give me rest. Give me rest. My father, take the yoke. Take the yoke. I give you. Take. I give you. Put it on your shoulders. And lean on me. I am gentle. I am humble. You will find rest. This yoke is easy to bear. And you know, I was having a yoke of ancestral worship. Hello? I was having a yoke of heavy work. But I came to Jesus and said, Lord, I am tired. He said, I am taking away this yoke. I am giving you my yoke that is light. You can carry it. You can run with it. You can depend. You can trust on me. Today I'm preaching the word. That is a very light yoke. As compared to that one that benefited the kingdom of darkness. But today 
the yoke that I'm carrying is benefiting the kingdom of God. Come to Jesus. He is caring for you. Yes, they were so afraid. They came to Jesus. Master, don't you care? They said, Master, don't you care that we perish? Jesus said to them, where is your faith? In other words, why are you so terrified? I am right here. I am your peace. I am your prince of peace. They had peace with them in the boat, for he is peace of Israel, and he is our peace today. Refuse to fear. Run to Jesus. Run to Jesus. Run to Jesus. Run to Jesus. Matthew 11, verse 28. You go to Jesus. Refuse to fear. Refuse to fear. Christ is your peace. And he lives in you. He's God's word. He is locus of God. When you speak Jesus, the word. When you speak Jesus, yes, when you speak Jesus, the word is manifesting. 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 Speak to Jesus. Miracle signs and wonders shall take place in the name of Jesus. Run to Jesus. He said, why are you crying? I am your peace. Why are you crying? I am your jire. I am your giver of life. I am your provider. Hoy! I am your protector. I am your deliverer. I am your tower. Come and hide yourself in me. Why are you crying? I am your refuge. I am your healer. I am the Lord that is healer to be. It doesn't matter the situation you find yourself. God's names, they are speaking to your situation. He is Jehovah Jireh when you are lacking. When poverty is attacking you. But when you start to call upon his name, he is Jehovah Jireh. As he provided Abraham with the lamb, so shall he is going to provide you with the job. He is going to provide you with the resources that you need in the name of Jesus. You shall not lack. You shall not lack. When you fear and the enemies are attacking you, he is El Shaddai, the God Almighty. He is the Lord of hosts. He is Jehovah Sabbath. You call upon the name of the Lord. He will send his angels to go and fight. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? So when you need to calm any storm, you don't have to try to, to wake him up like the disciples. Now you must speak his word and say in the name of Jesus, there is no witchcraft. There is no bewitchment against Jacob against Israel. Ah, yes! In the name of Jesus, there is no weapon fashioned against me that shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. You, my enemies, you are coming one side to come and attack me. Yes, you shall fight me, but you shall not prevail. You shall not win because God is with me. In the name of Jesus. If you, my father, you are with me. Who can be against me? No one can be against me. Yes, my father, I thank you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My father, you delivered Israel. You deliver us. You, you, you will deliver us. My father, you are our deliverer. You are all our horn of salvation. In the name of Jesus. Psalms 68 Arise, O Lord. Let all my enemies be scattered. Let all my enemies be scattered. Psalms 35 verse 1. My father, fight those that are fighting me. Fight them, O Lord. Fight them, O Lord. I am speaking a word 
I am resurrecting you. My father, content my contenders. Isaiah 49, verse 26. Verse 25. My father, I decree in the name of Jesus, the eaters of my flesh shall eat their own flesh. The drinkers of my blood, they shall drink their own blood like a sweet wine. They shall be drunk by their, by their blood. My father, today I decree and I declare your holiness in the name of Jesus. You start to call upon his name. My father, my father, you are my rock. You are the ancient of days. You are my rock of ages. You are my fortress. You are my protector. You are the rock where I am safe. You are my shield. You are a powerful weapon. You are my place of shelter. I praise you. I prayed you have rescued me from my enemies. Death has wrapped me as a rope around me. My father today, every rope that has tied me, it is lucid. It is lucid. It is lucid. I am speaking, my father, resurrection in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. No wonder why the Bible says, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. That is according to Colossians chapter 3, verse 16. Let the word of Christ dwell in you. In times of trouble, you shall call that word. In times of sorrow, you shall call that word. In times of challenges, you shall call that word. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much in the name of Jesus. Oh, my brilliant time in Tembo, thank you so much on the way from Togoza. Woman of God, thank you so much for watching in the name of Jesus. Let this word dwell in you. Let this word dwell in you. Let this word dwell in you in the name of Can you give me my phone? Yeah, thank you so much. Jesus said, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you owe Makaya to You shall ask anything, 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 and it shall be done. It shall be done in the name of Jesus. Because the words of God are abiding in you. Therefore, you need not to cry in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of John, chapter 15. The book of John, chapter 15. The book of John chapter 15 verse 7. Stay joined with me. Let my teachings become part of you. Then you can pray for whatever you want and your prayer will be answered. When you become fruitful disciples of mine, my father will be honored in the name of Jesus. Yes. If you don't stay joined with me, you will throw away. You will be like a dry branch that, you know, is not bearing fruit. If you abide in me, my words abide in you. You shall ask. Whatever that you are asking, it shall be given. What do you want? What do you want? Don't complain. Don't beg. Speak the word. Ask and receive. Hallelujah. Bartimeu also spoke the word. Though he was meeting some discouragement, he just focused. He knew what you are looking. He was looking for. No what you are looking for. You shall get what you are looking for. If you don't have a direction, unfortunately, you shall not make it. You shall not make it. God is looking for people that have a direction in life. You must have a direction in life. You must have a direction in life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, my father, my father, I thank you for the blessing. I thank you for the authority. I thank you for the dominion. I thank you for the power in the name of Jesus. My father, today, I am in Christ. I am in Christ. Yes, in the name of Jesus. My father, Christ is my peace. Even now, I declare peace over my life. Christ is my provider. I am speaking provision. Christ is my healer. I am speaking healing. 
in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. My Father, my Father, I declare peace over my life, over my joy, over my job, over my business, over my family, in the name of Jesus, over my ministry, on everything that concerns me. My Father, I am overwhelmed by your glory. I am overwhelmed by your tranquility of the Holy Ghost, of the Holy Ghost. My path is one of success. My path is one of joy. My path is victory forever and ever in the name of Jesus. Yes, with him nothing is impossible. With him nothing is impossible. With him nothing is impossible. With Jesus nothing is impossible. With Almighty God nothing is impossible. Yes, in the book of Mark chapter 11 verse 23, he said if you can, you know, yes, Mark chapter 9 verse 23, Jesus said unto him, if you cannot believe all things are possible to him that believeth, if you don't believe, all things are possible. All things are possible. With God, nothing is impossible. When Sarah was told to say, next year, this time, in this season, you'll be carrying a child, she started to laugh. At my age, how can I conceive? Hey! And God said, is there anything impossible with God? Even Jesus asked, is there anything that is impossible with God. And also telling you that with God, nothing is impossible. God is establishing you. God is giving you that desire of your heart. God is opening doors to the gates. All the gates, all the doors are being opened. Doors of opportunities. Doors of business. Doors of marriages. Doors of properties. Doors of ministries. Anything that you desire. With God, nothing is impossible. With God, nothing is impossible. With God, nothing is impossible. As I said, Job chapter 22, you shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto you and the light shall shine upon thy ways. You shall not suffer. You shall not suffer. Just start to speak. Have that faith like that woman with an issue of blood. Have that faith like Bartimeo who said, Jesus, Son of David, have, must have faith on have mercy on me. Like those ten lepers who call upon Jesus in times of trouble. Yes, in times of their lepros, they call Jesus for, for mercy, for them to be healed in the name of Jesus. You need to have faith. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 4. Where the word of a king is, there is power. Where the word of the Lord is, there is power. And who says unto him, what does it do? Oh, Makaya Tolo Roboshan. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 4. Verse 4. The Bible says, Chapter 8, verse 4. Where the word of the king is, there is power. Where the word of the king is, there is what? There is power. There is power. No one can ask him, why are you doing this? When you speak, you are a king. No one will ask you. When you start to do things, no one will ask you in the name of Jesus. Say, raise up your hand. Say, I'm a king. I'm a queen. When I speak, no question. No questioning. No one will question me. Listen there. I mean, are people who questioned what I'm doing, some of them are out of the hand of God because they are fighting God. They are fighting the plans of God. They are fighting the prosperity God has laid in my life. It is not about me, but it is about you. It is about your family, your communities, and every such people in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Luke chapter 24. Luke chapter 24. Luke chapter 24, verse 49. 
you must stay here until you are endured until you are filled with the Holy Ghost you can't speak if you don't have Holy Ghost it is our prayer that may God fill us with his power may God fill us with his power Luke chapter 24 Luke chapter 24 Luke chapter 24 verse 49 verse 49 Terry here Terry here you must tell everything that, that what has happened I send you one of my father has promised but you must stay in the city until you are given power from heaven Terry here until you are endured with power until the Holy Spirit is coming to you. You cannot just speak. Because when you speak, ah, your words must carry power. Yes, they must carry power. What you speak must come to pass. You carry power, you carry power, you carry power, you carry power. You carry power, you carry power. Yes, you carry power. We are speaking the power of God. The power of God that was given to us when we were created to rule on earth, on earth, even in the marine world. We are speaking of the dominion to say we shall dominate in every space. We are speaking of authority that we were given. Even Jesus Christ when he died on the cross, the main purpose for his death it was to take back power that was in the hands of the enemy it was going to take back the wealth that was in the hands of the enemy it was to take back the riches that was stolen by the enemy it was going to take back the wisdom the honor the glory the blessings the enemy has stolen but today we are telling here so that we are endured with power my father in the name of jesus we thank you in the name of jesus speak to your situation speak to your situation God is speaking to us. God spoke to Abraham. When God is speaking to us, we must pay attention. We must pay attention. When God speaks, we should pay attention because we need to hear what God is saying. What God is saying. What God is saying. He said to Abraham, get out of your country. Get out of your father's house. Get out of your family. Go to a place that I will show you. Go to a place that I will show you. Then I will bless you. Go ya talarabao shandarabai. Raise up your hands if you want God's blessings. Raise up your hands if you want God's blessings. God, you are la koda ba 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 sheke de 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 ba yada. This is your scripture. Genesis chapter twelve. Hello, look at me. Genesis chapter twelve. You stand no chance. Come out. I left my home. It was not nice. But when I went out. I find it myself having a property in town. Not property, properties. Hello, properties. Ah! Ah! Yes! Hello. I find it myself having a very big wardrobe. Hey! Driving smart. If I was at home, if I never left my ancestral altars, I was not going to make it. If I never left it, my family vows, decrees, covenants, sacrifices, blood shedding that was taking place, I was not going to be where I am. But I thank God that he took me. Yes, God spoke to me. God today is speaking to you. Pay attention because you need to hear what he is saying. Some of these troubles, they are making you to leave your home, to go, pack your load and go. To the place, to your destiny. Your destiny is looking for you. Raise up your hands. The problem with us as blacks, we can't leave our homes because we are bewitched by the very same parents, by the very same family. They don't want to see you moving forward. They want you to stand still to your point of death. They don't want you to own things. But God is speaking to us as he spoke as he spoke to abraham this was the second time when god spoke to abraham genesis chapter 12. the bible says then the lord said in other words 
Now the Lord said to Abraham, in other words, he once spoke the very same thing. In the book of Genesis, chapter 11, verse 27 to 32, God spoke as he tried to move out, but we see here, terror was going out. But if you want to get the whole story, we get the story from Stephan, Acts chapter 7, verse 1 to 2. Our Lord spoke to our father Abraham. He said, get out of your country, get out of your kindred, get out of your family house. Yes, God is speaking unto us. You will find God. You will find that God is always speaking. God is always communicating his plans and purposes to us. But we can't hear him. We are busy with him. Hear our own things. God is speaking today. God is unfolding his plans about Abraham. He is unfolding his plans about Abraham. As he is unfolding the plans about Abraham, he said, leave your country, leave your family, leave your relatives and go to the land that I will show you. Verse 2 says, I will bless you. I will, in other words, this is a personal blessing. I will bless you. Yes. I will make your descendant great. You will become famous. You will be a blessing to others. I will bless those who blesses you, but I will put a curse on anyone who put a curse on you. Everyone on earth shall be blessed through you. These are the personal blessings. You will be a great nation nationally, but we are also speaking of international blessings. Everyone on earth will be blessed because of you. You carry that international blessing. You carry that national blessing. You carry the personal blessings. God is unfolding his plans. Listen here. Our homes are like the rivers where the crocodiles are. Can you fight a crocodile in the river? You can't. What do you need to do? Lord, take me out of this river. In a higher place. So that I can... You know, prosperity is our portion. Brethren, above all, I wish you, you to prosper. That's God's wish. But we don't want. We are still stagnant. Even the doors that are open. Eh? You can't go outside the country. You are so afraid. You don't have a passport. But you are a Christian. Eh? You can't cross border. Go somewhere. Go to another country. You carry the mouth. God said, son, I am giving you the way. You shall speak into my nations. I am an international blessing. Internationally, they are watching me. Nationally, they are watching me. Even myself, I'm watching myself. I am a blessing. Thank God. Raise up your hand. Say, Father, today, speak to me. You spoke to me many a times, but I never listened. Situations were speaking to me. I failed to speak over the situations. But today, my Father, I declare and I declare. I declare and I declare. I declare and I declare. I declare and I declare your holiness, my Father. Thank you, Lord, for my personal blessings. Thank you, Lord, for my national blessings. Thank you, Lord, for my continental blessings, including internationally. Father, thank you. I am starting to work on my destiny in the name of Jesus. Father, speak to me tonight. God spoke to Isaac. God spoke to Isaac. God spoke to Isaac. God spoke to Isaac. In the book of Genesis chapter 26. In the book of Genesis chapter 26. You can't touch me with Genesis. I love Genesis so much because everything is in Genesis and in the beginning. Yes, verse 26. Once during Abraham's lifetime, the field had not produced enough gain. Yes, and now the same thing happened. So Isaac went to the king of Abimelech. 
of the Philistine in the land of Gerar because the Lord has appeared to Isaac and said, Isaac, stay away from Egypt. I will show you where I want you to go. You will live there as a foreigner, but I will be with you and I will bless you. I will keep my promise to your fathers Abraham by giving this land to you and your descendants. I will give you as many descendants as the stars in the sky. I will give you the descendants of this land. They will be a blessing to every nation on earth because Abraham did everything I told him to do. God spoke. God is speaking to us. He spoke to Abraham. He is speaking again to Isaac. Isaac moved together with his beautiful wife, Rebecca. And he was afraid. Hence now he said, this is my sister. But God spoke to him. God gave him a permission to do so in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Genesis chapter 26, verse 12 to 13. Isaac planted a good harvest that same year, and the Lord blessed him. And Isaac was so successful and became very rich. In fact, the Philistines even became jealous. Because God has spoken, God will make you famous if you want be, if you want to become a celebrity, be a child of God. Just watch the space. God is giving you a seed. The land shall favor you. 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 Yes, the land shall favor you. The land shall favor you. The land shall favor you. You shall plant a seed and it will sprout. It will give birth to hundredfold in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the book of Genesis chapter 28, we also see here God is speaking. When you read the book of Genesis chapter 28, verse 10 from verse 10, yes, the Bible says, Jacob left the town of Beersheba and started to Haran and went to out of Haran. At sunset he stopped that night and went to sleep, resting his head on the rock. In a dream he saw a ladder that reached it up to heaven and God angels were going up and down. The Lord was, that was standing beside the ladder and God spoke and said, I am the Lord your God to worship. By Abraham and Isaac, I will give you and your family this land of which you are now sleeping. Your descendants will spread over the earth in all directions and will become numerous as the specks of the dust of family will be a blessing to all people. Wherever you go, I will watch over you. I won't leave you nor forsake you. I will do all I have promised. Jacob woke up. The Lord inside. The Lord is in this place. And I didn't even know it. Ah! Then Jacob became frightened and said, oh my God. Verse 20. Jacob solemnly made a, a promise, made a vow. God, if you can go with me, I need your presence. Lord, if you can watch over me, I need your protection as I travel. God, if you can give me food and clothes, you are Jehovah Jireh, provide me with everything and bring me safe home again. My father, you shall bring me back. This rock which will be your house and I will give back the tenth of everything you give me. God spoke and Isaac did everything. God spoke to Abraham. Abraham left his home. God spoke to Isaac. Isaac carried out a lawful instruction. God spoke to Jacob and Jacob listened and made a vow and he fulfilled that vow. Exodus chapter 3 
when you read the book of Exodus chapter 3 verse 15 to 20 God was speaking to Moses he spoke to Moses Exodus chapter 3 verse 15 God said to Moses God said to Moses I am the eternal God so tell them the Lord whose name is I am who I am has sent you this is my name forever it will be the name that that people must use from now moving forward call together the leaders of Israel and tell them that God who was worshipped by Abraham Isaac and Jacob has appeared to you tell them I have seen the terrible that being treated in Egypt and I promise to lead them out in the name of Jesus I'm taking them to the land of milk and honey in the name of Jesus God spoke God spoke and as he gave his instruction even Moses tried to resist the prophetic assignment but God said don't worry you will take my position as a king your brother Aaron I have already spoken to Aaron they never believed that Moses was still alive they thought he ran into the wilderness and he was eaten by the beast and God said you shall meet your brother Aaron is going to be a prophet you are no longer now a prophet you are a king you are a king how nice it is to carry his position we are the kings we are carrying the kingly anointing we are the priests who are carrying the priestly anointing. We are the prophets who are carrying the prophetic anointing. Oh my gosh. We are the leaders who are carrying the leadership position. As well as the anointing in the name of Jesus. God spoke to Moses. There are times when storms are speaking to you. Don't reverse whatever the storm is speaking to you. The storms, when storms speak to you, reverse them in the name of Jesus. When sickness is dictating everything, you must reverse it in the name of Jesus. Say, my father, as well. Say, my father, I am speaking to my mountain. I am speaking to my mountain. I speak to every mountain in my life. And I command it to be removed and to be cast into the sea according to Mark chapter 11 verse 23 every mountain every situation every prison any situation that seems to overwhelm me that seems to engulf me today my father i am speaking your mountain of sickness your mountain of poverty your mountain of failure your mountain of defeat in the name of jesus be thrown be thrown into the lake of sin yes in the name of jesus my father every mountain of sickness every mountain of witchcraft every mountain of bewitchment every mountain of divination in the name of jesus i cancel you now my father i am speaking to my situation i am speaking to my mountain in the name of jesus oh lord i speak to every financial mountain to every financial embarrassment to be removed from my life be removed now be removed now financial embarrassment financial disappointment business failure yes i remove you i remove you i akota baba sokata he kala tala rabo shanda he sakata rabo yende my father i shall have money in abundance i shall have resources in abundance in the name of jesus my father let every mountain hear the voice of the lord and be removed hear the voice of the lord and be removed let every mountain Say, my father, let every mountain hear the voice of the Lord. Be removed now. Israel, I am bringing charges against you. I call upon the mountains and the earth foundation to be my witness. My people, I wronged you in any way at all. Please tell me, my father, my father, I call, I call the mountains. I call the firm foundations to become my witness to become my witness to become my witness maka talarabo shanda la raba ende sololololololololu bayanda yaka talarabo sololu bayanda katalarabo shekere bayanda ayatalarabo sololu bayanda 
Zika tarara bosha tarara bayendi. Haya kalara bosha tarara bayendi. Say my father, I call the mountains. I call the earth foundations to become my witness. I call them now. Maka tarara, call them, call them, call them. Call them, you carry power. Call them now, you carry power. So that they can become a witness. Ya katala raboshanda. Haya katala raboshikele rebebe. La katala raboshanda la rabayendi. Haya katala raboshanda la rabayendi. Yeke te tola raboshikele rebebe. Papa tolo raboshanda la rabayendi. Yes, raise up your hands and say, Now I call the sky. I call the earth. I call the earth. I call the heavens to become witnesses that I am offering you this choice. Will you choose the Lord to make you prosperous and give you long life? Or will you put under a curse and kill you? Choose life. Say, my father, I call heavens and earth. I call heavens and earth. I call heavens and earth. My father today, according to Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19, my father, you call heavens and earth. You are making me to make a choice. My father, I choose life. I choose blessings. I choose prosperity. In the name of Jesus, I don't choose curse. I don't choose death. I don't choose anything that will hunt me down in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, thank you Lord. Mapato kalato. Hekeke zamandalarabayen. Hilatalaraboshandalarabayen. Hepepe zongondolorubuyan. Hayatalaraboshakatalarabayen. Yes, my father, thank you. In the name of Jesus. Mapa Tolorobo Shandarabayan. Hia Katalarabo Sokotoroboyan. We are speaking fire. We are speaking fire. We are speaking fire. We are speaking fire. In the name of Jesus. Maka Tolorobo Shanda. Katalarabo Sokotoro Shedi. Hila Talarabo Sandarabayan. Hiba Batoma Gondarabayan. Hila Talarabo Shiki Telurian. Haya Katalarabo Sandarabayan. My father, I need those blessings. My father, I need that life. I need that life. I need to move forward in the name of Jesus. Go shakara talarabayid. Hebaba tolorobayid. Raise up your hands. Raise up your hands. Raise up your hands. As we are praying now. Ezekiel chapter 36. Verse 4. 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 Ezekiel chapter 36. Verse 4, Ezekiel chapter 36. Yes, we are speaking to these mountains. Yes, so all your mountains, all your hills, all your streams, all your valleys, listen to listen to what I do. Listen to what I do. Your towns may be now lie in rains, and the nations may laugh, insult you. Raise up your hands. Say all your mountains. All you hills, all you valleys, all you streams, all you caves, all you rivers, hear the word. You shall listen to what I do. You shall see what I am doing, what I am saying to you. You shall listen because I carry power. I carry power. I carry power. I carry power. When I speak, heavens must be shaken. When I speak, it must come to pass. It must come to pass in the name of Jesus. Pray, pray, Raise up your hands. Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 10. Mountains tremble at the sight of you. Rain poured from the clouds, ocean. Waves rose and rose. The sun, the moon stood still while your arrows and spears flashed like lightning. Mountains trembled at the sight of you. Rain poured from the clouds, ocean waves. The sun, the moon stood still while your arrows and spears flashed like lightning. Yes, say, my father, my father, let your mountains 
tremble at your presence. Let the sun, let the moon, let the stars, let the galaxies stand still. Go ya la la ba 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 she pe pe. Ke ke to pa la to no no mo 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 ya. They shall stand still. They shall stand still. Joshua chapter ten, verse twelve. Sun stand still until I finish off with the Kibionites. Stand still. Stand still. Stand still. I command you. I command you, Joshua. Said you, son. You stand still. If the sun does not move, the moon will never move. The stars will never move. Because you have spoken. Have you commanded your morning? Have you commanded the galaxies to know their place? Have you programmed your day since the day? of this morning. No wonder why your things are not working out. You can't speak. You can't speak. You must speak. You must speak. You must speak. You are standing on the rock. The, the rock Jesus Christ. Yes, Psalms 91. Psalms 91. Psalms 91. Psalms 91. Verse 5. To six, Psalms ninety one, verse five to six. Psalms ninety one, verse five to six. Read it for me when I repeat it. In other words, I say, read it for me. Yes, read for me. Psalms ninety one, verse six. You shall not be afraid, not be afraid of, the of the terror of the arrows that fly by night. Any pestilence that is working. Yes, you will not need to worry about the danger at night. About the arrows during the day. Verse 6, and you won't fear diseases that strike in the dark. And sudden disaster at noon, you shall not be afraid in the name of Jesus. You shall not be afraid in the name of Jesus. You shall not be afraid because you are commanding that. You are speaking life into a dead situation. All these things, they are under your feet. Yes, all these things, they are under your feet. All these things, they are under your feet. Yes, Psalms 121. Psalms 121. Psalms 121. Psalms 121. Verse 6. Yes, show color of a bobo shake a little baby. The other Zilla Raba baby, 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 so called to Roboyada Sakata Rabos and the Rabaide Solo Rabobo Shandala Rabaide. Give me another mic. Where is my mother mic? Where is another mic? Come and give me a mic this side, please. Shall Psalms 121, verse 6. The Bible says, You won't be harmed by the sun during. In this basket, offering basket, you won't be harmed by the sun during the day or by the moon at night. You shall not, you shall never. Bring for me that mic. The, the mic. Not that thing. In the name of Jesus. Okay, fine. Leave it. Thank you so much. I got it. Thank you so much. I got it. I got it. I got it. Thank you. Sorry for that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Psalms 121, verse 6. Yes, 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 yes. Psalms 121 is very good. It's very good. I look into the hills. Where will my help come? My help will come in from the Lord who created heavens and earth. The Lord is my protector. He won't go to sleep and he won't be stumbled. Yes, he's our protector. The Lord is our protector. At your right hand, to your shade from the sun, you won't be harmed by the sun during the day. No, by the moon at night, in the name of Jesus, the Lord will protect you. The Lord will protect you and keep you safe from all the dangers. The Lord will protect you now and forevermore in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Say, my Father, my Father, I contend every contender. My Father, my Father, in the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. Father, today I decree the book of Micah, chapter 6, verse 1. The Lord said to his people, Come and present your case to the hills, to the mountains. My Father, today I come, I come to present my case unto the hills, unto the mountains. I lift up my eyes unto the mountains, unto the hills. Where will my help come? My help come from the Lord. My Father, my Father, lay the mountains of Esau, lay the flesh to waste in the name of Jesus. According to Malachi chapter 1 verse 3, the mountain of Esau shall be leveled. The mountain of Esau, it is the flesh. The works of the flesh must be leveled. According to Galatians chapter 5 verse 19 to 21. Yes. Colossians chapter 3 verse 5. Yes. Ayala baba baba bayo kutunurubuyeda. Romans chapter 1 verse 21 to 31. These are the works of the flesh. We are speaking of adultery, fornication, homosexuality, sodomy. Yes, homosexuality is the work of the flesh. Fornication, adultery is the work of the flesh. Sodomy to sodomize man as a man. Yes, lesbianism, gayism is the work of the flesh. Yes, incest when you sleep with your relatives. That is a pure bacala, even sleeping with animals. Yes, it must be cancelled. Say, my father, every mountain of Esau in my body, in my life, take your load and go. I want to serve the Lord. I want to serve the Lord. Let any fornication, let every sodomy, let every spirit of homosexuality take its load and go. My father, let every spiritual husband, spiritual wife, take its load and go. In the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Song is so no mas pele. Song is so no mas pele. Young give me more, yeah. A sense, a sense, is it? Yes, you be. My humble manje. My humble manje. My humble manje. My humble manje. My humble. Put your foot. Put your foot. Your hand. Put forth your hand on you. On your head. On your head. Yes, lay your hand. Yeah, can. The right hand. The right hand. Yes, yes. The other hand must be in your belly. Must be in your belly button. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Or where the womb is. Yes, 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 yes. Say, O oh Lord. O oh Lord. Overturn the mountains. By their roots. Job chapter 28 verse 9 says. With, the, with their own heads. They remove sharp rocks. And uproot the mountains. Uproot the mountains. They dig through the rocks. In search of jewel and precious metal. They also uncover the source of the rivers. And discover secret places. Yes, it is our truth. Mapa to Lakota Rabayeta. Say, Lord, overturn the mountains. Overturn the mountains. Overturn these sicknesses. Overturn these diseases. Overturn these calamities. Overturn these problems. As I'm speaking now, I carry power. I speak to my situation. My Father, I speak to every mountain mountain of debt. I shall not be debted. I shall not be debted. Let every mountain of debt be removed and be cast into the sea. My father, my father, you are against every destroying mountain. Lord, you are against. Makatolo roboshan. Hila talarabosha kelerebeyad. Laka talarabosha dalarabayad. Kika talarabosha dalarabayad. Hila talarabosha kotolo roboyad. Yes, Jeremiah chapter 29, chapter 51, verse 25. Yes, verse 25 says, You destroy the nations 
and seem strong as a mountain. You destroy the nations and seem strong as a nation, as a mountain. But I am your enemy. I might even grab you and roll you off cliff. When I, I am finished, you will only be a pile of scorched bricks. Say, my father, every enemy is rolling away. Is rolling away. Is turned down. They think they are strong like the mountains. My father, I destroy the nations in the name of Jesus. I declare and I declare your holiness in the name of Jesus. My father, today I come upon you. My father, today. Pray, pray, pray. Pray, 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 pray. pray. He kalala ba 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 ba. He la ba 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 ba. He kalala ba ba ba. Yes, in the name of Jesus, say, my Father, I decree. Judges chapter five, verse five. Let the mountains melt at your presence, O oh God, according to your word. Judges chapter five, verse five. Rain poured, the skies at the trouble, and the mountains shook, and the mountains shook. Mapako tala rabo yad, hila tala rabo saka tala raba yad, hila tala rabo solo do 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 ba yad, hila tala rabo shaka la raba yad, maka tala raba yad. Let the mountain smelt like wax at your present, melt like wax, melt like wax at your present, melt like wax at your present, melt like wax at your present. Let every sickness, let everything. Bow before you, melt like wax. Maka tola raba shake. Hila tala raba babebeyan. Hila tala raba sendelebeyan. Hila tala raba yend. Isaiah chapter forty two. 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 Verse fifteen. Isaiah chapter forty two. Verse fifteen. Hila tala raba shand. Yes. I will lay waste the mountains and the hills. I will dry up all their vegetation. I will make their rivers be wasteless. In the name of Jesus, say, My Father, make waste of evil mountains in my life. Oh Lord, I call upon you as I decree. Isaiah 42, verse 15. Make the evil mountain a waste, a waste, a waste, a waste. Makatola kala pokota baya sanda. Ye kala talara boshanda. My father, my father, I trash every mountain. I beat them small. I make the hills as the chaff. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 15. Yes, my father. Isaiah 41, verse 15. I trash every mountain. I beat the small and I make the hills as a chaff. Yes, come on, come on, come on, read it for me. Isaiah 41 15. Come. Yes. Yes. You shall trash them. You shall trash every mountain. You shall trash every mountain. In the name of Jesus. Say, my father, every mountain in my way will become plain will become plain will become plain Zachariah 4 6 Zachariah 4 6 Zachariah 4 7 Zachariah 4 7 Zachariah 4 7 Zachariah 4 6 and 7 Zachariah 4 6 and 7 so the angel explained that it is with the following to the Lord to Zerubbabel yes 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 Ay, 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 ay. Verse 7, who are you, O oh, great mountain, who are you before what? Are you Zerubbabel? I am Spiwen Kabinde. Oh, who are you mountain before Spiwen Kabinde? Zerubbabel. That mountain in front of you will be leveled. Spiwen Kabinde. Yes, Spiwen Kabinde. Yes, Stemi so. Yes, 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 Stemi so. Brilliant time. That mountain in front of you shall be leveled. Shall be leveled. Yes, yes. That mountain in front of you shall be leveled to the ground. Then you'll bring out the temple. Most important stone. 
and shout, God has been very kind. I want you to shout that God has been very kind. God has been very good into my life. I thank God for his love, for his peace. I thank him for his love, for his joy, for his peace, for his kindness, for his goodness. God has been patient with me. God is so humble. God has a self-control. Yes, 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 come. Open Galatians 5.2.2. Open Galatians 5.2.2. Open Galatians 5.2.2. Let's pray over that. Pray over it. Pray over it. That God has been good because of his love, because of his peace, because of his joy, because of his kindness, because of his goodness, because of his patience. He has been humble to you. He has been humble. He has been faithful. He has a self-control. Come on, pray. Come on, pray. Yes, you are speaking to these mountains. Yes, Zerupapel. Zerupapel, verse 6. So the angel explained what is the following message of the Lord to Zerupapel. Yes, to Spiwen Kabinde. Yes, yes, come, 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 come. Yes, 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 he spoke to you. Brilliant time, he spoke to you, Stemiso. He spoke to you, all those that are watching us. God is speaking, Zeru. Zachariah 4, 6. I am the Lord all powerful. Yes, so don't depend on your power. Don't depend on your strength. Yes, depend on you. Don't depend on but on my spirit. But on my spirit. But on not by might, not by power, but by my spirit. Makato para sokoto. He la tala la boshada. Ayakatala la boshada. He la tala la boshada. He pepe. Angadala la bayel. Ayakala la de 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 bayel. He la la ba bebe bayel. He la tala la bayel de 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 bayel. Ayakatala la boshed. He pepe. He katala la boshada. In the name of Jesus. Listen here as I'm closing. We have prayed, we have spoken. We have spoken to these mountains. We have spoken to these mountains. We have spoken to these mountains. We have spoken to this mountain. We have spoken to this mountain. I want you now to give you the tips how to ensure that the mountains are totally removed because the only problem in our lives, it is the problems. It is the problems. Yes, it is the problems. It is the problems. It is the problem. It is the problems. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 Lord. Thank you, Lord. What no man can do, God can do it for us. That's what Victoria Orenza is saying. What no man can do, God can do it. He did it before, he can do it again. His name is Jesus. He delivered Israel. He delivered me. He shall deliver us in the name of Jesus. He is a, 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 a God of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Yes, you must trust in him in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Mountains are complicated and stubborn problems. Mountains are exalting themselves against you. Blocking you. Every mountain shall be removed. Every mountain is being brought down. Every mountain shall be accursed. Every mountain shall disappear. There are a number of walls, marital wall, financial wall. All these mountains shall disappear. Yes. Number, number one thing that you need to do, you need to connect to the source of power. John, yes, chapter 1, verse 12. You need to connect to the source of power. Like that Shunammite, not that Shunammite, to that woman with an issue of blood connected to the power of God said, I shall connect. I am connecting to the power of God. I am connecting to the power of God. Because I'm confessing with my If I can touch the hem of his garment, I shall connect to his power and the power shall heal me and assure me. Connect to the source of power. Build the word of God in your life. Build the word of God in your life. Colossians chapter 3 verse 16. You must build the you know the word of God in your life. Meditate on the scriptures. 
Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 meditate on the scriptures day in day out when you lie meditate when you wake up when you eat oh my color about yanda Ezekiel chapter 3 yes eat the scroll son of man eat the scroll I ate the scroll it was sweet like honey yes 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 build the word of God around your life. I'm building the word of God. God is grounding me. Number four. No, number three. Yes. Build. Build their word of God in your life. Psalms 45 verse 7. In their lives, build the word of God into other people's lives. Build the word of God into your life. In your life, Colossians, Colossians 3.16, build their word of, of God in, in your life. Whatever God is speaking, it must be planted in you. Psalms 45 verse 7. Life, righteousness, love, righteousness, and the hate. And they hate sin. Run away from sin. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father, I thank you in this night. I thank you, Lord, that today you have made me to speak to my challenges. Father, today as I spoke to my problems, your problems, what are you waiting for? Disappear now. Disappear now. Disappear now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Father, we thank you. We honor Father God. In the name of Jesus. We are serving you, Lord, who is speaking. Mercy shall speak for us. Mercy is speaking for us. Father, we are asking for your favor, your mercy and grace in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you so much for your word. In the name of Jesus, let us close our eyes. Father, we thank you in this time and hour. Father, we have spoken when God speaks. When you speak, Father, it will come to pass. Father, I thank you that you have taught me to speak to my mountains. I speak to every situation that I am facing. Father, I thank you for your favor, your mercy, and your grace in this time and hour in the name of jesus father i decree and i declare your holiness in the name of jesus father visit our families you know the challenges we are facing as families as individuals you know every situation father any situation that we are facing father we decree and we declare our restoration father we trust and we believe in you that it is done in the name of jesus we bless you lord Father, touch it in every one of us. We accept you as our Lord and Savior. Father, we shall continue to pray. We shall fast. We shall humble ourselves. As the Bible says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, pray and seek my face and, 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 and repent from their wickedness. Father, we shall hear our cry. You shall forgive our sins and you shall heal us. Thank you, Lord, for your healing. Heal us from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet. Heal us, O oh Lord, in every area of our lives, finances, work-wise, business. Father, we thank you for the restoration. You said we shall restore everything the canker worm has eaten, anything the worm has eaten. Father, today we thank you. We honor, we glorify your holy name. Thank you so much for watching us. This is other than Apostles, Pure Wisdom, Kabinda, all the way from South Africa. Thank you so much in Pretoria. You are blessed, your family is blessed. When you are at home, please pray for your entire family. Speak to your situations. You've been given the power to command. Don't speak to that chicken. 
Don't speak to the snake. Don't speak to that in purple. Don't speak to anything. Don't burn any incest. Don't burn it. Don't speak. Don't throw away every satanic altars now. You are coming into the Lord. Just have faith in Jesus. We silence any satanic deposit in your families, any satanic deposit by the enemies. In the name of Jesus, we declare and we declare that, my Father, it is done. It is done in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for watching. Catch us live also over this weekend. Uh, on Monday, from Monday, the 28th, up until the 3rd, we shall be having a revival at Windmill Park under Pastor Pinky and uh, Silo SD Bele at Mountain of Life Ministries. Catch me there. Please inbox me if you are interested. to will see it in the poster. You just Put that address, it will take you next to Don Park in Gauteng in South Africa. Those that will be across the country or far from far from the province, it's fine. You can watch us online, but I will appreciate if you can come so that you can come and get your deliverance. Yes, we'll be breaking evil vows. You know, family, even family patterns, foundation, evil altars, covenants. Your things will be happening. We are preaching deliverance. We are preaching the gospel of God. We are promulgating Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. Be with us. Catch us live. Thank you so much for continuous watching on us. In the name of Jesus, please be with us in prayers as we are experiencing number of death in the family. Another brother of ours was discovered buried in the yard. He was buried in the yard in Middle Bay. So pray with our family as we experience another death. Now, this death again. Please pray with us. The best friend buried in in the yard until they sold the car and they were discovered by police and they confessed when they took out our brother came out died be with us in prayers the enemy is a liar the enemy is a liar thank you so much be with us as we as we go through this valley of shadow of death we shall fear no evil I am praying for the deliverance of your families, protection of your children, in the name of Jesus. All the drugs must be silenced. It will take us brilliant time. Come out of that cocoon. Come out, my dear sister. Toboza is yours. Katharas is yours. Israel is yours. The whole of Gauteng is yours. Come with your influence. Yes, that's something, my dear sister. Our children are dying. As we are praying, you need to come out and start to do some projects in Jesus' name. If you are interested, you can call. We'll take it up from there. Thank you so much. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Thank you. The Lord is with you. Thank you so much in Jesus' name. Thank you. Shalom. Apostles, pure wisdom coming the all the way from South Africa. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Yes.